Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Technique Tuesday. Today, we are going to use some gel pens. Now, I managed to find this amazing set of gel pens at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. Hopefully, you can see that it was normally $35, and I managed to get it on clearance for $8.74. This one happens to be a 48-pack, and it's got glitter, metallic, neon, some pastel colors, so it's really got a great selection. So I don't have an Amazon link for this one because I actually just grabbed it from the store. Now, these are 0.8 millimeter. Get that in. Uh, size tips to them. Now in this set though the glitter are 1.0. The finer you can get them the more detail you can get. But if you're going to cover a big area you want a thicker tip to it. So here's an example of one I've done. You can see I've got some glitter going on there. I've got some metallic colors. And this is another one I did. This is not paint. These are all gel pens. And again, a little bit of glitter. Hopefully the light's picking up the sparkle there. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, when you're done, you will always want to seal your earrings. I like this triple thick. Works well for me. I'm big on a spray can. That just seems to work better in my hands. So I've got a butterfly here, and I've got that same rose. So I'll... I'll do both of them. I've got a little tape so that my item doesn't wiggle around while I'm trying to paint it. I think I'm going to start with my butterfly. And these pens, you do want to store them standing up. I've just got them laying down for right now because it's easier. So let's just pick out a few colors. Oh, I don't know. We'll probably go a little wild here. See, I've got some metallics, some pastels. If I need more, I'll go back and grab some other ones. But let's just start with a base color on my butterfly. So I'm just going to start with this yellow. And you are literally just going to color in the lines. And you can see that this makes it really easy because it has such a fine tip to it. And I know some of you are saying, well, that's easy Caroline because you've got a bigger size butterfly here so just to show you that it's just as easy on a little one I grabbed it too and you're just going to color in the lines take your time there's no rush make sure you haven't had half a pot of coffee before you do this you do want to kind of have a steady hand and I'm just going to do this one side. You don't need to sit there and watch me color all day long. Although that might be kind of fun, but maybe not. Oh good, the heater just kicked off. Okay, so I'll just do this one side. Ooh, while I've got the yellow out, let me do it. Do some yellow on my rose here. We'll make a yellow-ish rose. I'll come back and add some more to that in a little bit just while I had it out. So kind of before you get started, have an idea in mind, but don't be afraid to deviate from your idea. So I want to put some color into my butterfly. As you can see, I'm able to just dot this color in. And it's like writing with a pen. It's just got color to it other than black or blue. Just gonna take my time. It's hard to concentrate and talk at the same time, I will say. And then I would obviously do the same on the other side. Mm, I don't think I want purple on my roses, but one of these is metallic and Oh, let's see, or glitter, sorry, not metallic, glitter. 
Actually, I didn't grab a glitter. So. Let's grab a couple of those. And again, with these, I can tell because they're a, a wider pen. And normally I would leave these down on the tape, but just so that you guys can see this, I'm moving it off. Let's put a little bit of glitter. Because who doesn't like glitter? Unless it's all over your carpet after you've just opened a birthday card. Then glitter's no fun. Because once you get glitter in your house, it never leaves. It's like beach sand. It's there till you sell the house. Okay. Now, make sure you don't touch this until it's fully dry because it will smear. So I'm going to set that over there. I'm going to come back to my butterfly. Uh, let's see. Where do I... Hmm. Go back to my big one. So I can change up these colors a little bit. Oops, as I send that one flying. So let's do some orange in here. I know, I never fully finished with the yellow. And if you notice you missed a spot, just go back and grab it. I will suggest leaving the colors that you use leave those separate from the colors you don't use until everything's fully dry. That way if you notice a spot that miss, is missing some color you can go back and it's easier to figure out which color it is versus trying to go through and go oh my gosh which colors did I use. So just a little tip from experience. I'm liking this rose better than my butterfly because I've got more places I can color. And then I would go back with some green on the leaves. And you can now see where the, the sparkle is starting to sparkle on that. So like I did on this one, I went back and put green on the leaves. So I think you guys get the idea there. I'll post the finished examples down in the comments and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.